Today's lesson is on adding and subtracting repeating decimals, and it covers page 8 in your 7.2 workbook. Question 1 is going to give you two decimals to add together, and we need to put them into the charts. So for 0 0.25 repeating, we're putting our decimals at the beginning in their boxes. They have them drawn in. So we're just going back and forth. 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2. For 0.33, it's not repeating. So we put 33, and then everything else is just a zero. Then we're going to add starting on the right-hand side. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 0 is 2, 5 plus 3 is 8, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So if we were to write this out, we would have the 5 and 8 that aren't repeating, and then we have these groupings of 2, 5, 2, 5 that repeat. So we just put a repeating sign over the 2, 5 at the end. We're also going to do a subtraction example. So we have 0.52 repeating minus 0.22 repeating. Right, so for my first row, 5, 2 repeating, I'm just going to go back and forth. 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2. And if I end on a 5, that's okay. My second row, I'm just going to keep repeating the 2s. So it will go with 2s forever. So 5 minus 2 is? 3. 2 minus 2 is? 5 minus 2 is? 3. 2 minus 2 is? 5 minus 2 is? 2 minus 2 is? 5 minus 2 is, 2 minus 2 is, 5 minus 2 is. So my grouping that repeats is 30, so my answer would be 0 0.30 with the 3 and 0 repeating. As we learned yesterday, 1 ninth is 0 0.1 repeating, 2 ninths is 0 0.2 repeating, 3 ninths is 0 0.3 repeating, and the pattern continues on. So for question A, they ask you to add the repeating decimals by lining up the decimal places. So they say, okay, 0 0.1 repeat, repeating plus 0 0.2 repeating equals what? So, so I could rewrite 0 0.1 as 0 0.11111. And I could write 0 0.2 as 22222. Two, two, two. When I added these together, it would give me, this would give me, They'd all add up to threes after the zero, so this would become 0 0.3 repeating, which you notice is kind of like our one and two repeating going together. Part B asks me to add them by changing them to fractions first and then write, adding the fractions and writing the sum as a decimal. So 0 0.1 as a fraction would be one out of nine. 0 0.2 repeating would be equal to 2 out of 9. Now, when we add, when we add them together, it would be 3 out of 9, which is the same thing as 0 0.3 repeating, which is also the same answer we got in part A. Question number three asks you to add by lining up the decimal places. So if we had 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7, that would give us 1.0. If we had 0 0.33 plus 0 0.77, that would give us... So we would need to go 3 plus 7 is 10. We carry the 1. 3 plus 7 is... 10 plus 1 is 11. So it's actually 1.10. So if we have 0 0.333 plus 0 0.777, 3 plus 7 is 10. And then 3 plus 7 is 10 plus 1 is 11. And then 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11 again, right? And then 1 plus nothing is 1. And our decimal goes here. So now we're adding how many 1s there are each time. 
we went from 1.0 to 1.10 to 1.110. So we're adding another one in each place. Using this pattern, they've asked us to guess what 0.3 repeating plus 0.7 repeating is. It would give us 1.1 repeating. And you notice the repeating sign can only start after the decimal. It can't happen in the whole numbers to the left. Question C asks why it's not possible to add 0.3 repeating plus 0.7 repeating, 7 repeating by lining up the decimals, which is what we were doing here. And we'll notice that every time we have a zero on the end, but if you keep repeating the three and seven, it will keep pushing the zero over and we will never get there, which is why it's inaccurate because it would be 1.1 repeating, but it will look like there's a zero at the end, even though there isn't. Question D asks us to figure this out by turning the repeating decimals into fractions. So 0 0.3 repeating would become 3 out of 9. 0 0.7 repeating would become, when I add them together, my denominator stays the same, but 3 plus 7 gives me 10. So this would be, we can then turn this into a mixed number. So how many groups of 9 are there in 10? There's 1, and that leaves us with with one ninth left over. And so one ninth we know is like 0 0.1 repeating. So if we add that to one whole, it would give us 1.1 repeating, which is the same thing that we got in part B. Question four gives us two ways to add or subtract. The first one in part A is to line up the decimals and in part B, they ask us to change the decimals to fractions. Our first set of numbers is 0 0.25 plus 0 0.3 repeating. I can rewrite 0 0.25 as 0 0.2500 if I extend it, and I can write 0 0.3 repeating. I can rewrite 0 0.3 repeating as 0 0.3333. Then if I add them together, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 3 is 3, 5 plus 3 is 8, and 2 plus 3 is 5. Decimal and 0 plus 0 is 0. We can rewrite this as 0 0.58 because those don't change, but the 3 keeps repeating. So we'll just put the line over the 3. The second way they asked us to do this is to rewrite these as fractions. 0 0.25 as a fraction is the same thing as 1 quarter. 0 0.3 repeating is the same thing as 3 out of 9. Now, we need to come up with new fractions, their equivalent, that have the same denominator. So, my common denominator for 4 and 9 is, I have to start by writing out the multiples of 4 and 9. So I could go, okay, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. Now, as I'm writing out the multiples of 9, I'm going to stop as soon as I see a number that's in the other list. So 9, 18, 27, 36. Oh, there's a 36 in both of these lists. So that is going to be my denominator that will give them a common denominator. To get from 1 quarter to something out of 36, I need to multiply by 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. To get from 3 ninths to 36, I need to multiply by, by 4. So 3 times 4 is, is 12. My last step is to add these together. So 9 twelfths, 9 36 plus 12 36 is 21 out of 36. Now I have to look at whether I can divide 21 and 36 by anything. We can divide both of these by 3. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. And 36 divided by 3 is 12. 
To turn this back into a decimal, I need to take my numerator and divide it by my denominator, which gives me 0 0.583, and the 3 is repeating, which is the same answer that we got for part A.